Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, men and women of all ages. So today, I've been asked, where do I draw my inspiration from my writing? I have a bunch of different stuff in my writing. Where do I get all of it from? Now, that question is kind of hard to answer. I generally take in a lot of things through reading, games, internet, whatever, and it sort of just mulls and mixes in my head, and then creativity comes out. You don't, there's no really original work. Our work is all inspired by something. So today, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that I've read, I've played, um, stuff like that, that I think have has sort of like leaked its way into my writing in some form or another and inspired what I've written. So first of all, I have a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to go through it. The Greek myths. The Greek myths are hugely um, awesome. They have gods and goddesses and nymphs and heroes and all that fun stuff. Uh, read about them and that's affected my writing. Uh, different types of heroes, stuff like that. Shakespeare. Also, fantastic. Great works of literature are essential to writing good things. If you bring in good things, good things come out. If you bring in garbage, garbage comes out. Um, yeah. Your, your work is only as good as what you read. So, read good things. Peter Nimble. Fantastic book. Uh, I honestly don't remember the plot hugely much, but a lot of it, I do remember he has these special eyes that he uses, and that was sort of like a cool thing that I sort of in tried to incorporate a bit of it in. But I do remember the fact that it was an awesome book. It had a profound plot that I don't remember, but it's in here somewhere, and it'll come out and influence some of my work. Keepers of the Lost Cities, also fantastic have all sorts of different types of powers, elves, dwarves, gnomes, trolls, and just a fantastic story. I bring it in, it inspires me to write stuff, and it comes out. Um, let me think. A lot of, from there, I'm trying to think of an exact thing that I could put towards it, but I can't really remember anything like I said, all of my stuff is just a compilation of other things. For example, let's take Hellbreaker, for instance. Hellbreaker is a very complex character, also known as Kido Rohan, and he's a sorcerer, a dark art sorcerer. So he is kind of complicated. He is a hodgepodge of a bunch of different things. He's fiercely loyal to, um, he's trying to get his deceased girlfriend back. She committed suicide and he's trying to bring her black back from the Black Realm. I designed his character around a hodgepodge of other characters. Um, I designed him around Rysand, a guy from a book that I'm not reviewing because I probably shouldn't have read the book. But um, I don't suggest the book, but the character was very interesting. So I designed him around Rysand. I added a little bit of myself in there too. I also designed him around um, Rysen, myself, and there's one other character that I don't remember. See? It's, it's in here. The character is in here, but I can't put a tag on it. It's just a melting pot of all the things. Um, superheroes. Superheroes uh, are great, affected my work. Uh, oh, that's the character, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange I put into Hellbreaker as well. Uh, superheroes, Thanos, a super powerful guy, different powers that the superheroes have. I incorporate those into my books, different character traits that they have. I'm like, ooh, that's a cool character trait. I'm going to incorporate that into my book. For example, uh, the Bleeding Edge, uh, he's a vigilante. I haven't included him in any of my work yet, but I am hoping to use him in something. He's inspired by a combination of Batman, the Red Hood, and and there was one other character that he was inspired by. But primarily Batman and the Red Hood. I was like, this is a great idea. I'm going to go make this character. Other things, the Chronicles of Narnia, always fantastic literature. It creates fantastic writing. Bring in fantastic literature and your writing will progressively get better. 
Harry Potter. Now, I know this might not be for some people. Some people think it's dangerous. It's a book. It's okay. Um, if you if you don't want to read it for your own personal convictions about it, don't read it. I enjoy it. It's not hasn't harmed me in any way that I know of. But it has come out in my writing a little bit. Um, a bunch of the different like it has a very intricate plot that I try to um, I don't try to use I don't try to use other people's plots, but I try to draw a bit of inspiration from that. And be like trying to create characters that are really deep, like uh, Snape. He's a really deep character. Uh, has is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? You can't tell. And really deep characters. And I try to draw inspiration from that to make my characters. Other great works of literature, obviously, Lord of the Rings, elves, dwarves, hobbits. Great stuff in there. Um, Use it to the best of your abilities and make great work out of it. Um, Percy Jackson. Also, fantastic books. Lots of It's based off of the Greek myths, so those sort of go hand in hand. But again, heroes, powers, awesome plots, and cool plot twists. The plot twists are really cool because you can sort of like copy plot twists. Like, oh, he's his father. Or, oh, this guy's actually a bad guy. Pretty basic plot twists. Kind of cliche, but you can use them a bunch. And then another one that I drew a lot of inspiration from is um, Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, its character is Aang. I don't remember the other characters. Um... Yeah, I have no clue who the other characters are. I can't remember their names. But they have these elemental powers that I drew a lot of my inspiration from my tribes. I have the Terrans from Earth, which they have. The Aquats using water, which they have. Uh, the Pyrans using fire, which they have. And the Gustians using air, which they have. So it's not a... I drew inspiration from it, but I also branched out. For example, um, using like Vey, a lightning manipulator. He's drawn sort of from, he's, I have the basic elements that I drew inspiration from, from Avatar The Last Airbender, but I also combine those and come up with my own things. Shen, Master of Explosions, comes from fire and earth, together create the Explosion Master. Um, they, he's technically a Gustian, but he also has a bit of Pyron in his line. Gustian plus Pyron, lightning. Uh, just a huge amount of different varieties of things that you can make. Uh, I also got that a lot from like superheroes. There's a TV show called Heroes that I have not watched, but I have read up on a bunch of superpowers that they have, and I have used some of those superpowers and drawn inspiration from those. Um, you can also draw inspiration from other things that aren't quite just books. For example, I play this game, Magic the Gathering. Fantastic game. It's not for some people. A little bit like Harry Potter. You're casting spells and stuff. Um, maybe not for you. It is for me. Um, not dangerous, really. I don't want to be controversial about this, but um, anyway. Um, draw, 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 I take that in. Draw a bit of inspiration from that. It comes out. Um, they have different powers and stuff that you can use, and I incorporate those into who I have. And, yeah, so that's a bunch of the stuff that I draw inspiration from. Uh, books, games, movies, whatever you take in comes out in your writing. So make sure you're taking in good things. If you want to write good things, take in great works of literature, well-written books, and you will be able to write more well-written books. If you take in, like, fluff, not that great stuff, just random stupid things that you want to read, your writing's not going to be that great. Try to draw inspiration from the great things that you read. So, that's how I draw inspiration from my work. I hope you use it as a tip to draw inspiration for your work. Or, bleh, for your work, and I will see you guys later.